Hi everyone, welcome to Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, thank you all for your beautiful comments, your messages. I love reading um, what you'd like to share. And um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, welcome if you're a new subscriber. And also thank you for joining the membership as well. And I'll get started. So just keep in mind that this is a general reading and we'll see what messages come through. And this is Divine Masculine. He's all cozy on the bed. He needs to get rest because he's going through a lot of energetic... It feels like a heavy flu. He needs to do some purging because he's uh, surrounded with a lot of heavy energy at this time and he's stuck on his endless cycle he has a bigger bed now so he can relax he can toss and turn all he likes <laughs> But he's cozy there. And try to make him as comfortable as possible so he can heal. Okay, so in this reading, I can see this karmic energy. She's not happy right now. Um, she's not happy about some sort of change that's coming in or some change she heard about recently. Um, she's trying to forget something. Um, I can see here that there's a lot of things that she or he just take it as it resonates because this is a general reading. Um, this karmic energy is trying to um, kind of like figure out something out. Like they, they know that there's something that's being held from them and they don't like it. Divine Masculine, I feel like he is not open, open to expressing any kind of... Um, he's not openly expressing himself to this comic person just give me one minute okay i'm seeing a few things going on in here there's a block there's there's some kind of block that's going on between the divine masculine and this comic person Karmic person is not happy because they they know that there's some change that's coming about within the divine masculine. Divine masculine, he he wants to um, pull away from this energy, this connection with this karmic energy, um, because I see here whoever this resonates for um, this in this reading, this particular divine masculine. They are not disclosing their feelings openly to this karmic person because they have other things in mind. They have a plan. They have something that's going on. And there's a lot of things that is happening with this divine mask. And I feel like he's trying to um, trying to build on his strength as a divine mask. Find the courage within himself. He's trying to prepare himself before he makes any kind of forward movement. What he's doing, he's... He's um, not showing his reaction. He's not showing any kind of emotion. He's not letting this karmic know uh, what he's actually feeling inside and what he's thinking. It's like he's, he has a blank face. He's not showing what his emotions is to this karmic person. 
This karmic doesn't know what's happening with this divine masculine. And there's so many things going on with divine masculine. There's imbalances here. He's trying his best at this time to balance the energies within himself, to have balance in his life. I feel like he's very tired. He's very stressed, but he's really pushing. He's trying to push through. I feel like it feels like what the divine is guiding me on is that it feels like a, a closed room that this divine masculine's in and he's just trying to push down that door to get through it's like a close energy closed off karmic energy that he's trying to break himself free through and he needs to release i feel like he needs to release a lot that has to do with the attachment attachment that is connected to this karmic person energetic attachment once that energetic attachment is released then he's able to heal he's able to release more that he's holding within him i feel like intuitively he's starting to feel sense have that inner knowing that he needs to push away from this um, energy that's not in alignment with his because his energy is starting to shift, is starting to change and transform. And this karmic energy is sensing it. They're not feeling happy about this change that's coming about. They feel it. It feels like it, it's kind of like the air is getting cold and they can feel that the weather is changing. Like it feels like there's it might rain. That's what it feels like. Like the karmic energy is sensing there's going to be a sudden change and they don't like that feeling that chill that coldness from that's coming from the divine masculine because the divine masculine is concealing their emotions they're not they're being cold they're not openly expressing themselves like they used to and they feel that chill coming from the divine masculine see he's chilly He's so chilly, he's under these sheets. <laughs> he's trying to keep warm. He's concealing. He's protecting his energy. So he can heal. He can release this karmic connection, this karmic energetic connection. He's withdrawing. This Divine Masculine in this reading, I clearly see here that he's starting to feel the connection with the Divine Feminine, that, that pull, that, that energetic pull towards the Divine Feminine. He feels that Divine Feminine and him are intertwined. That there's something, there's something there. But right now I have to focus on this. I feel like when he thinks of Divine Feminine, it's like for a moment his mind drifts away. He becomes at peace, at ease. It's just a moment that he forgets everything that's happening in his environment, in his life at this time. His mind starts to just drift off into memories of Divine Feminine, to the energies of Divine Feminine. And then when he snaps out of it, he realizes he's in this mess, this reality with this karmic energy. He's like, okay, now I'm here. I have to focus on this. Start, Stop daydreaming. Stop daydreaming about Divine Feminine, he's feeling. I need to stop daydreaming about the, the connection, the energy with Divine Feminine. I need to focus on what this is, what's happening over here. This is a Divine Masculine who's not fully awakened. He's not fully awakened to his connection with Divine Feminine, but he is slowly drifting into that He's being pulled into the energy of Divine Feminine and he doesn't know exactly what's happening, but he's like, whatever it is, it feels good. It feels much better than what I'm experiencing over here. It's giving me peace. It's making feel, me feel comfort. It's making me feel like, it's like for a moment, he feels like as if he's on vacation, like he's relaxed, he's chilled when he thinks about the energy, about Divine Feminine. But then when he snaps out of it and he snaps back to reality, he sees this. He's not fully 
He's not fully awakened to the point where he can say, I want to be with Divine Feminine. I need to let this go so I can have a life with Divine Feminine. It's not that. It's, it looks like that he's still in, involved in this energy of the karmic. Whether it be a karmic family member, friend, take it as it resonates. It's a karmic energy. But then the moment where he 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 feels like, I need to take a break from this energy. It's making me exhausted. It makes me feel tired. Oh, how the heck did this charm end up over here? <laughs> so he's thinking, I need to get myself out of this energy that's here. So he's resting. He's thinking about divine feminine. He's in a restful state here. But the pains of the purge, the pains of the energetic, the low vibrational energy, the karmic energy is draining him. But in the moment where he feels less of that, that um, uncomfortable, uneasy feeling of the purge, that's when his mind starts to drift into divine feminine energy. It's like he's going back and forth while he's in this state. Majority of the time, he's uncomfortable in the state. But the moment that he feels a little bit at ease, he is drifting into the state of divine feminine energy. It's kind of like, uh, for example, if you're like laying in bed, like say if you're not feeling well, right? You have like a tummy ache or something like that. And then you start to drift to sleep. Like you start to fall asleep. And then in that moment, you no longer feel that state stomach ache because you are falling asleep right you're going your body is relaxing right your body is resting that's what he feels when he's going he drifts away into that sleep it's like he's drifting into the energies of divine feminine but he's still in that pain he still has the stomach ache from that purge that he needs to get through his body and if you haven't seen that purge video it it is um, quite an intense video. Um, I suggest you see that before or you can see it after this one. But it, I describe it more of what he's actually going through. And it's quite painful. And the vis visualization I got about this Divine Masculine's purchase, it's quite intense. It's ugh. so intense I don't even want to think about it. The poor guy is really... He has a lot of um, things he needs to face. He, he has to release a lot. And that one moment, that one moment he has a little bit, little bit peace that he's drifting off to sleep into the energies of divine feminine. He feels that peace with the love of the divine, divine feminine. But majority of the time he's not, he's not in his full strength. He's in that purge state he's trying to avoid it but it's it's going to be a tough one for this divine masculine so divine masculine is being very cold he's not showing any emotion to this karmic individual and if he does show some kind of emotion it's just for a moment it's not to it's not his genuine feeling it's like Inside, he may feel sad, but on his face, he may be smiling. Like he's hiding his, his frown with a smile. Okay, but he's not happy. There's no happiness here. Divine Masculine is unable to see clearly. He's unable to see um, what he needs to remove um but what i can see here is that a lot there's a lot that needs to be removed and one of the things that he needs to remove is words for some reason he's getting affected by people's um i think words like conversation things that the karmic may have mentioned to him that i feel like he was very sensitive to certain things i feel like this Karmic energy said some things to the divine masculine that really hurt 
and I, I won't say hurt his ego, but it hurt his self-esteem. Okay, this is really, um, really sad because I feel like it was something that really made this Divine Masculine feel like he's not good enough or made him feel like he is not strong enough or something like that. But in this, in this state, once he clears out what he needs to clear out, it's going to help him transform himself, help him build himself, become a stronger divine masculine being. But right now he doesn't see how, how this situation is going to change him. He doesn't see the good in it. He's not optimistic. He doesn't see the good that's coming. He doesn't see the gift that's hidden within this this experience, this very energy draining experience, low vibrational energy. But there is a gift hidden here because it's going to help Divine Masculine reveal who he is as a Divine Masculine. It's going to help him show his inner strengths. It's going to help him grow. He's not only going to be confident, he's going to be his strongest authentic self. He's going to He's going to elevate. He's going to evolve. He's going to become the strongest version of himself. And this is going to be the beginning of his transformation. And what I see that's so beautiful in this reading is that this transformation, he's going to start to learn more about his divine feminine energy as well. So the energies within himself, divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy, he's going to balance, it's going to come into balance within the divine masculine body, the physical body. A lot of divine feminines who worked very hard on their journey to evolve as a divine feminine, they have the balance of the divine masculine, divine feminine energy within their their being but divine masculine he had a, quite an imbalance right that's where the low vibrational energy came in that's why he was gravitating towards things that are not in alignment that's why he had so many imbalances within his life but whatever this situation is it's going to help him come to this realization that he is more than he thought he knew he was He's a much stronger being and this, this experience is going to make him feel proud of himself that I can't believe that I was able to, to grow so much in the midst of this energy. I see that a new cycle will be created. But this is going to be a good cycle. It's going to be a very clear cycle and it's a small cycle. So it's going to be like, kind of like the divine is kind of like pushing divine masculine to start this new cycle, but on, with small steps, right? Nothing too overwhelming for divine masculine. It's just to ease him into the divine journey to learn more about himself as a divine masculine, to make him become more wiser as a divine masculine. This karmic energy, when she feels that she is being very... Um, that she's being ignored in some way by this divine masculine because the divine masculine will be very um, cold when it comes to his emotions. He's not going to op openly express his emotions to um, this person. Um, this karmic energy is going to start to question like what, what is bringing about this change? Why is divine masculine acting the way he is? Why is he not um, showing his emotions? Um, or feelings towards me. What's what's going on? And I feel like this karmic energy is going to 
um, start to think back about um, the divine feminine, they are going to have some some kind of worry here. This is going to create some kind of imbalances within the karmic energy. Like there's already imbalances within this karmic energy, but it's going to create more imbalances because it's going to, um, it's going to affect this um, karmic energy because they they can't handle the fact that divine masculine is stepping away energetically. It's going to irritate. This karmic energy it's going to cause irritation and it's going it's going to create some sort of um i feel like this karmic is going to keep jumping in front of divine masculine like they they want the attention they need the attention they um they want divine masculine to see them and only them and i see this karmic energy is like I feel like Divine Master is going to be so tired and so drained that he's going to be like, just give me a moment. Just give me a moment to sit down and let me have, you know, like, let me have a moment so I can just relax. I just came from work. This is what I feel. I just came from work. Let me have a moment to like, you know, just put my feet up and watch TV. Like, why do you keep, you know, blocking the screen? Why do you keep coming in my face? Just let me, let me have my moment, okay? I feel like this, I feel this energy just keeps coming in Divine Masculine, like right up to his face. Like, it's, it's kind of like annoying for Divine Masculine. And he doesn't know what else to do. At one, one time he found this cute, he found it cute that he was getting so much attention. He thought it was love. This divine masculine thought this attention, this kind of attention from this karmic energy was love. In the beginning, he thought it was cute and he enjoyed it because it fed into his ego. But now he finds it very irritating that this person's always in my face. <laughs> you know what he's doing? He's starting to compare um, the divine feminine and karmic person. He's like, divine feminine never went in my face. Like, it's stuff like that. Divine feminine never did this. Right? Why is this person doing this? Divine feminine was a hard worker. She worked very hard. And this person doesn't know how, how hard I'm working for, for us. I feel like Divine Masculine was putting a lot of effort, work, time for this karmic energy who does not appreciate all the work and sweat, tears he's putting into his hard work for to build their life together. And now he's realizing that I wish I had somebody who was with me, not only like here, but who's actually with me together on our journey like in our life that they are able to be be um a strength for me like they are a pillar for me like he feels divine feminine is such a hard worker had good work ethic had good morals had good values had good had a lot of dreams had a lot of goals wanted to accomplish a lot and he's seeing that this this person this karmic energy is lacking lacking a lot of stuff they don't know the meaning of hard work i feel they don't this karmic person doesn't appreciate what divine masculine has done and divine masculine feels like they are not being appreciated and they feel like this person has no idea what it's like to work hard and that's where the comparison is coming in because he's comparing that divine feminine 
She understands because she also is a hard worker. Divine Feminine has always been a go-getter, has always been a hard worker, focused. I mean, Divine Path, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, they have to work hard, not only spiritually, but in all aspects of their life. And Divine Masculine knows 100% that Divine Feminine is a very hard worker. And he knows that this karmic energy is nowhere close to Divine Feminine in terms of work, in terms of their efforts, values, strength, all these things that Divine Masculine feels that is not being appreciated within him, he's appreciating that within the Divine Feminine. He said, all these things nobody appreciates within me, but I appreciate it that Divine Feminine has these qualities as well, that she does these things as well, just as I do, because she is also a hard worker. She is also independent. She is also focused. She is also goal-oriented. She is all, also accomplished a lot of things. She's a go-getter, just like me. And I'm here with this karmic couch potato. He's like, I don't want to sit on this sofa next to this couch potato. This couch potato is starting to dent the sofa. There's no comfort on this sofa. She's not only weighing me down, but she's weighing the sofa down as well. Because she's, she's not moving. She's not doing anything. She made an imprint in the sofa because she's so focused on her own stuff. And she expects all these things from Divine Masculine to accomplish on her behalf. That's not only draining the Divine Masculine, but it's also holding back the Divine Masculine from moving even forward, like more forward, like strongly. If he was with Divine Feminine, he would have had the strength to even excel even more to accomplish even more that inner strength he has within him is because he has that within him he is a divine masculine but the the guidance the support the support system of the divine feminine he doesn't have it in the physical he isn't in the in the 5d but in the physical he's lacking it I feel like he needs somebody to just say, it's okay, Divine Masculine, you know, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can do this. Even if Divine Masculine believes he cannot, Divine Feminine would really push Divine Masculine to excel, to be the best he can be. And he knows he's missing out on that. He's lacking that in this connection. He feels like instead of somebody building him up, this karmic is not only pulling him down, but this karmic is not willing to build themselves up either. It's like they're pulling themselves down and they don't want Divine Masculine to excel. They want to pull down Divine Masculine as well. And that's why he doesn't want to express his emotions because he knows that if he does express his feelings, emotions, is going to cause some kind of disagreement. And he's trying to deal with this karmic energy, the healing that needs to take place. He's got a lot of things going on in his heart, in his mind, in, his, in all of his body, spiritual body, energetic body, right? Emotional body, physical body. He's got everything going on at once. And he doesn't want this karmic energy to know about it. But the karmic energy senses that there's a shift happening in his... There's an energetic shift that's happening in the Divine Masculine. And that's making them feel unhappy. Okay? So that's the reading for today. Um, I hope you like this reading. Um, this was a unique one. 
um yeah there's lots happening over here so if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel um you can like share um leave a comment below and if you'd like to join you can join as well and thank you all for watching have a great day bye everyone